Hi, Dr. Watson, with a quick tutorial on how to calculate parallel minor key signatures. I want to credit many of the Music Theory 2 students I've had at Parkland High School for devising this method, or at least they're the ones who first told me about it years ago, and I keep hearing it year after year from students, and I'm finally getting around to uh, using it. Anyway, the method for um, calculating parallel minor key signatures is simply to add three flats. And another way of thinking about adding three flats would be to subtract three sharps. It's the same idea, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, before we get started, I just want to make really clear the difference between parallel minor key signatures and relative minor key signatures, because there are two different ways of um, discussing minor keys. So just to start out with, relative minor means you already have the key signature. The two scales share the same key signature. That's why they're considered relatives. But what you don't know is the first scale degree. That's going to be different. So, for instance, in the example um, here, C major has no sharps and no flats, right? The key signature has no sharps and no flats. Well, it turns out A minor also has no sharps and no flats, right? It has the same key signature. But what it has different is this, the do. A is the dough here, whereas C is the dough here. So those would be considered relatives, right? They're relatives because they have the same key signature but a different dough. Whereas, let me clear the screen here a little bit. Um, whereas C major and C minor have the same dough. Their dough is both C. But what they don't share is the key signature. The key signature is different. So this video is concerned with if you already know the major key, like C major, how do you get the parallel minor, C minor? And you can see that the way that it's been done here, at least, is to add three flats. Right? We went from no flats to three flats, and it's that conversion that we'll be discussing. All right, let's do a couple examples. Now, you have to know your major key signatures in order for this to work. So, for instance, if we wanted to figure out what E minor is, from E major, we have to realize that E major is four sharps. One, two, three, four. If you don't know your sharps and flats in order, if you don't know your major key signatures, uh, go back and check one of my earlier videos on how to calculate um, the key signature. And we're not going to get into that here, but we're going to assume you already know your major key signatures very well. So if you already know your ma major key signatures, all you have to do is add three flats. And remember, adding three flats is the same thing as subtract, subtracting three sharps. So in this case, we're going to, this, this, and this, getting rid of those would be considered adding three flats. So we get rid of them, and now we're left with just one sharp, and it turns out one sharp is the key of E minor. And that's how we can calculate an E minor scale, right? And we get all the right notes there, E, F sharp, because of that sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and so forth. Let's do another one. So E major to E minor, we got rid of those three sharps and came up. All right, F major. Hopefully everybody, as soon as you saw F major, you realize that's one flat. And let me just write out the scale F, G, A, B flat. There's the flat, C, D, E flat, uh, E natural, and then F. All right, so just one flat. Now, if I add three flats, what I'm going to be doing is adding an E flat, an A flat, and a B flat. So in addition to the one flat that I already had, Right? I'm also going to have this flat, this flat, this flat. Now I actually have not an F major, but an F minor. The parallel minor uh, adds three flats. All right, let's try another one. Let's start with D major, and instantly we all know D major is two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So how do we get to D minor? Well, we add three flats. Adding three flats in this case means let's get rid of this, let's get rid of this, and then let's add one flat. Right, so two of those sharps, we got rid of it, and then we add one more flat. Um, D minor is D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. So adding three flats means, in the case of going from two sharps, you know, get ridding two of those sharps is like adding two of the flats and then add the third flat. All right, how about B major? B major has five sharps, and hopefully we already knew that. One, two, three, four and five. So getting rid of three sharps or adding flats means we can get rid of these three, and we're left with just two sharps, and that is the key of B minor. All right, hopefully this is getting easy. Let's try another one. F sharp major. Well, 
Do you know that key signature right away? Hopefully you do. It's six sharps. One, two, three, four, five, and six. By the way, I'm just going to quickly recount. Fast cars go down around every bend. Those are the sharps and orders if you can memorize that saying. Fast cars go down around every bend. So what we were just doing was adding six of those seven sharps. And that's our major key signature. Now, we want to get to F minor, right? So F minor means we add three flats or we get rid of three sharps. So F sharp minor actually is F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. It's basically just these three sharps. Right? F sharp minor is three sharps. Let's try another one. And this will be our last one. So B flat major, two flats, B flat and E flat. So we want to add three flats to that. So we're going to add A flat, D flat, and G flat. And now we have all the notes we need for a B flat minor scale, right? The, the parallel minor is B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, and B flat. So it is five flats, and that's how we got that key signature. Hopefully this has been useful to you, and um, I wish you luck with figuring out your parallel minor key signatures.